Burn Bright Sun to Scorch. Let Gynamax change your size and form. And form. Wait, are you going to Gigantamax on me? Hi friends, Cool here. Welcome back to the channel and our Pokemon Sword Nuzlocke. If you're enjoying the series just as much as I am, make sure you hit that like button down below, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of the action. Now, if you missed the last episode, you'll want to make sure to go back and watch that. Uh, we made our way back to Motostoke City uh, through the mine number two of Galar. Uh, I did do some training, not some training, I did I did a little bit of training uh, trying to get a specific item from this cafe right here. And if you know what I'm talking about, you'll know what I'm talking about. If not, don't worry about it, we'll come to it on a different episode coming up. But uh, for now... Uh, we do have the team. I did. I think a couple of them might have leveled up when I was doing what I was trying to do, uh, but I promise nobody died. You guys are going to have to take my word for it, but at any rate, we've got Amelia, the level 26 Milkery, and she knows uh, Tackle Attracts, Sweet Kiss, and Draining Kiss. We've got Samuel, the level 26 Toxel with Nuzzle, Growl, Flail, and Acid. We've got Edward, the level 26 Pansion with Tackle, Circle, Throw, Willow, Sweep, and Slash. We got Raven, the level 27 Corvusquire with Pluck, Fury, Attack, Power Trip, and Home Claws. And we got Scales, the level 28 Drizzile with Water Pulse, Swift, Sucker Punch, and Bind. Dorothy, the level 25 Dollar with Reflect, Light Screen, Confusion, and Struggle Bug. And I believe that is it. It is indeed. So we are going to go ahead and heal up our Pokemon really fast. In fact, I'm going to hop on my bike because... Okay, so I've been doing a lot of, of uh, playing through the, the wild area on my other version, on my, my Shield version. And uh, so now going anywhere without using a bike feels slow. <laughs> uh, but we are going to be taking on the fire type gym today with uh, the gym leader Kabu and his gym of fire type Pokemon. But first, I do want to buy some medicine. I think. Do I have? Um, I don't know. I don't have any med I have 26. I should be fine. Uh, but I do. I Honestly, I know that. I know that I probably shouldn't use. Uh, scales because she's just so over leveled but at this point I don't have anyone else who can take on this gym really uh, and she just does it so well that I think I'm, I'm not going to be able to to not use her but uh, we are going to go ahead and go on our way on our bike like I said it's kind of painful to do anything else now because I've been going through the wild area so much that uh, anything else just feels so slow but we're going to go ahead and I, I'm assuming that Hop is going to want to battle us here which is bad Still moving, aren't you, Quill? I'm already, I've already gone and earned my fire badge. That man, fire, that man of fire, Kabu, is just what you'd expect. Nearly got burnt in my battle with him. Even with my strongest team, it was definitely touch and go, but I still won in the end. Get a shift on, Quill. You bet you could beat him, the man of fire, too. Oh, he didn't want to battle. That's great. Uh, yeah, we're just going to go ahead and take this on. I don't anticipate this to last very long, uh, but... Oh, wow, I like this gym. What do you have to say over here, my friend? I'm sorry, but only challengers taking on the gym mission can go beyond this point. Well, that's me. I'm taking on the gym mission. What are you talking about? What? I still can't change my my uniform. That's okay, though. You know, I don't need to do that. I, I'm fine. What do you have to say? Hey, a gym challenger. That's a welcome sight. We don't have too many challengers since our leader, Kabu, has made his gym so hard. Eh, we got a water type starter. It's all right. All right, we are ready, and we're going to go ahead and go... Of course, we got to change into our uniform, although we can't change into the one that we bought because that would make too much sense. <laughs> All right. Oh, so this gym is a little bit different, he says, than the ones we've seen before. I would love to catch a fire type in general. The problem... Oh, oh. Well, hey, it looks like I might be able to catch a fire type. Who knows? What, what do we have here? What is this gym? Here comes a referee. <laughs> the gym mission is uh, for the fire gym is this: catching Pokemon. Oh, catching Pokemon to earn the most points. Earn five points to clear the gym mission. In case you're wondering, you'll earn one point for defeating for defeating a Pokemon in Tall Grass and two points for catching a Pokemon. But you won't be alone in this competition. Other trainers will be joining you in your battles. Think about what your opponents might do and try to make the best action to rack up points. Okay. So we do get to catch a Pokemon. In fact, I wonder if we get to keep the Pokemon that we catch. Um, I think we're going to go ahead and actually lead with, uh, Samuel. Get that nuzzle off. Okay, oh, wow, wow, wow. Very early. Oh my gosh, we got a Sizzlipede! Oh, man. So land it, okay. 
Uh, we're going to go ahead and go for the nuzzle really fast. Salandit goes for the fake out on Samuel? That's not nice. Sizzlepeed does go for the bite, though. We're going to go ahead and nuzzle on Sizzlepeed. Salandit goes for a sand attack. What are you doing, my friend? Bite? Yeah, keep biting the Salandit. That's nice. Nuzzle. Okay. It's paralyzed now. Should we just go for the ball? I feel like we should just go for the ball, honestly. Um, this is such a new and, and interesting uh, bug type. We're going to go ahead and use the netball. Such a new and interesting uh, concept. I really like it, actually. Let's see. One, two, three, and... Okay, we got it. Awesome. We got a Sizzlipede. All right, I'll, we'll be right back after. I'm, I love Sizzlepeed, actually, so much. I'm going to go ahead and name this thing really fast, and I'm going to be right back. Oh, wait, no, no, no. I keep forgetting. We need to read the Pokedex entry first. It stores flammable gas in its body and uses it to generate heat. The yellow sections on its body get particularly hot. Uh, we will go ahead and name this thing. Give me one second. All right, I'm going to go ahead and name this after John, uh, someone who commented on my Quillfish only run. Uh, really, really appreciate that comment, by the way. It was a very, very nice and well-written one. Uh, also, loves Quillfish just as much as I do, so uh, that's really great. We're going to go ahead and add John. Actually, I want to look at John's summary really fast. Uh, let's see. Down attack, up spot. That is awful. Okay. Well, we're still going to add it to the team. <clears throat> just because it's... It, I mean, Sizzlipede is really good. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and send... I, I think I think Dorothy Dorothy is the one to send to the, to the PC. Just because they're both bug types, you know. Alright, we got two points. Awesome. I'm going to go ahead and switch. Uh, let's see. Scales can go back up front now. Now, wait. My, my question is, right... So, like, what if I catch... I can't catch more than one Pokemon, can I? Do I not get the scores then, or... I think I might have to catch this Pokemon also. Yeah, I'm gonna have to catch this Litwick. <clears throat> That's okay though. I like I like Litwick. I I promise I won't use this Litwick, but I am going to go ahead and catch it. Uh, we're gonna knock out this Sizzlepeed right right fast because I do not feel like battling two Pokemon at once. Uh, Water Pulse should take it out no problem. Awesome. Good, good, good. Do we gain experience from that? That's awfully weird if we do. Okay, Hex comes out. That does a lot more than I expected it to. Jeez. Selena, why do you have more Pokemon? Please stop that. Uh, we're going to go ahead, I guess, and just go for another... Actually, we're going to go for the Sucker Punch on the lit... No, this is a bad idea. I think we are going to go for the Water Pulse on the Selena, actually. Take it out. If we can knock out all of, all of the other person's Pokemon, we should be fine. Uh, Will-O-Wisp, that doesn't scare me too much. Not really at all. Uh, but then we're good to go. Huh. Please don't send another Pokemon. Awesome. Okay, we're going to go ahead and switch out into Samuel here. <clears throat> go for the same nuzzle strategy we went for before. And hope for the best. This is a really interesting gym challenge. I really like this one. Uh, Will-O-Wisp is not going to concern me too much. I mean, it, it's no fun, for sure, but, like, I can always heal it up. Alright, we're gonna go ahead really fast and go for the nuzzle. Let's see. And that shouldn't do hardly anything, but it does paralyze Litwick. Wait, confuse me. Okay, I thought it was gonna go for the, the hex right there, and I was really concerned. I will find myself uh, switching right back out. I know that kind of stinks, but... I, I don't want to lose a Pokemon to this wild Litwick that I have to catch. <laughs> uh, Amelia should be able to come in here and, and t take a few hits anyway. Although, I don't know. Litwick's got really good special attack. Let's see. Will-O-Wisp. I don't care if you use Will-O-Wisp. We're going to try to catch you now. Oh, although... Now that it's burned, Hicks does a lot more damage. You know, we're just going to go for it. <clears throat> we're just going to go for a... Oh, what do I want to use? A Great Ball? Probably a Great Ball. Uh, yeah, that's what we're going to have to go. We're going to have to go for it. I mean... 
Come on, great ball. Please just work. Make my day. Make my day. One, two, three. Come on, click, 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 click. Awesome. Okay, so this Litwick is off limits. We are not allowed to use it. I just needed to catch it to get through the gym. Uh, but we are good to go. Let's see what the Pokedex says. The flame on its head keeps its body slightly warm. The Pokemon does not... It takes lost children by the hand to guide them to the spirit world. That's dark. <laughs> uh, I'm not actually going to give Litwick a nickname. I'm going to go ahead and send him to the box. He is never to be used. Uh, as much as I would like to, because I really do like uh, Litwick very, very much. But... I'm almost certain that if I didn't catch him there, I would have failed the challenge, and that would not have been any fun. So we're going to go and heal really fast. Uh, what do we have? We've got two burn heals. That's great. I'll use one on Scales and one on Samuel. And then we'll use a full heal on Amelia. Yeah, John, <clears throat> John isn't going to do anything in this battle, so that's, that's totally fine. All right, Super Potion, we are good to go. I'm just going to go ahead and attack this Vulpix. <clears throat> I'm not going to catch this one because I don't have to. But, know that I want to. <laughs> All right. We're going to go for the Water Pulse here. No big deal. <clears throat> Pardon me. My, <clears throat> my voice is escaping me all of a sudden. That's no good. Uh, but there we are. We have achieved five points. We are going to go ahead and take on the gym. Raven gets up to level 28, which is always, always nice. I don't want to learn Scary Face, not today. Uh, <coughs> there we go. Another mission is cleared. And so, let's see. Clearing leader Kabu's mission like that is positively on fire. Next, you'll be facing Kabu, the leader of the fire gym. Go on, challenger. I will absolutely go on. Thank you. Um, but before I do, I'm going to go ahead and heal up Samuel, just in case, just in case we need him, you know, we might. Uh, and then in fact, I think I accidentally took off Scales' held item, so I'm going to give him back the Mystic Water, if I can find it really fast. Oh, where would it be? I don't even know where it would be. Shoot. I need to get used to these, the new, the new organization of the bag. Oh, no, it's not going to be in there. Not with the balls, I don't think. Yeah, no. No, no. Oh, it would be in here. It would be in here. Where is it? Mystic Water. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and give that to Scales, and that should make it so that we just win this outright, which would be awesome. Uh, but here we are. I love these, these gym battle scenes. They are the greatest thing ever. Uh, but... <laughs> <coughs> I am so sorry. My voice is just being funny today. <laughs> I love how he has a little trot. He like, runs out to the field. And it's interesting because he came in on the same side as we did, which none of the gym leaders have done so far. But, you know, weird things I notice. We're just, like, walking along, like, I don't know why you're running, dude. We're going the same place. Oh, wow. I Okay, this stadium looks great, though. Honestly, welcome. I am Kabu, the fire gym leader. I, the fact that you are here means you've bested both Milo's grass-type Pokemon and Ness's water-types, too. That's quite an accomplishment. Every trainer and Pokemon trains hard in pursuit of victory. But that means your opponent is working hard to win. In the end, this match is decided by which side is able to unleash their true potential. Yeah, no, this this uh, stadium is the, the coolest we've seen so far, by far. Oh, uh, here we go. These gym battles are so hyped up. I love it. Okay, he's got three Pokemon. <clears throat> and so I think what I do here... Um, I think I... I do think that I Dynamax and go for the Max Geyser. I hope that we outspeed. I bet we will. Um, but I don't want this Nine Tails setting up the Sunny Day, which is what I'm assuming it's probably going to start to do. It's going to try to do it, at least. Um... I really, really hope that this doesn't go poorly. Uh, okay. Okay, Ninetales uses Quick Attack. What am I worried about? What am I worried about? We got the Max Geyser going off. That should take it out, no problem. Right? 
Right, awesome. Okay, there goes the Nine Tails. Super awesome, super great. <clears throat> and the rain starts up. Okay, good night, good night. We win, we win. The crowd, okay, hearing the crowd in the background is really getting me going. Like, that was such a good addition to these games. <clears throat> Out comes an Arcanine. Very cool. Intimidate, that's not going to matter because we are using special attacks, actually. Uh, one more Max Geyser definitely will take out this Arcanine. <clears throat> oh man, the, the Max moves look so cool. Like, I, I mean... Uh, the, the Z moves look cool, but these ones look epic. You know what I mean? Like, there's, there's a difference. Samuel's up to level 27, Amelia's up to level 27, everyone's leveling up, it's great. Light that fire and get your mind going, Kabu. There must still be a path to victory. And this music, where it hypes up even more. Okay, Scorch is one of my favorite Pokemon that was introduced in this generation, if not my favorite. I, I really like Scorch a lot. Burn bright, Scorch. Let Dynamax change your size and form. And form? Wait, are you gonna Gigantamax on me? Whoa, wait, wait, whoa. His eyes just, like, blazed up. Oh my gosh. That's a Gigantamax, Scorch. Oh, that looks nasty. But in, like, the best way. I love it. Max guys should still take it out there, right? I hope. Okay, awesome. Good, good, good. We did not lose. In fact, we won decisively. <laughs> but we got to see a Gigantamax Pokemon, so that's really cool. Uh, apparently, those are extremely rare, and I, I like how they make something, like... Like... Uh, Dynamaxing is very accessible. Most people can, everyone who plays the game can Dynamax. But not everyone can Gigantamax, which is so great. Great Pokemon and a great trainer. It's no surprise that you won. I love it's raining around him. Like, that that's just an indicator of how the battle went. Uh, <clears throat> I'm often regarded as the first real roadblock of the gym challenge, and yet you defeated me without much trouble, actually. Clearly, your talent surpassed my, my many years of experience. I still have much to learn. Still trotting up to the center of the field. I don't know why. I know that your Pokemon will become a fantastic team. I'm glad I could battle you today. Let me give you the fire badge as proof that you've defeated me. It's, I think it's so funny that I was talking about, like, how uh, I wanted a competent fire type, and then all of a sudden there was one on the screen. Uh, I can now catch Pokemon up to level 35, and thanks to the Dy Dynamax phenomenon, your Pokemon battles have become part of the Gala region's future. Or culture, I don't remember. <clears throat> and it's the young trainers who are responsible for keeping the culture alive. Culture, it was culture. Of course, I could. I, I hope that instead of just keeping it alive, you help it become something better. We could also be the pillars for, of which you build on. Alright, I like Kabu. He's kind of cool. Quill, I figured that if anyone could do it, you and Drizzile would be the ones. But still, that match had me right on the edge of my seat. Why? We, it was so not even close. Challenger Quill. I see you've done a fine job collecting the gym badges from the Grass Wider and Fire Gyms. Please take this TM to commemorate what you accomplished here today. What? Willow Wet. Okay, Willow Wet is super useful, actually. Oh, that, that's... Yeah, that's great. And take one of our uniforms. It's the same design Kabu himself wears. Okay, I will take that. Thank you very much. Alright, and we are doing great on time. What if we get two gym badges in one episode? That would be crazy, wouldn't it? I think you've proven your skill well enough that you... Uh, to try hard against the gyms that await you, starting off with the Hammerlock, that of Hammerlock. Head back down to the wild area surrounding the city and make your way to Hammerlock. We will do just that. With all the badges we earned ourselves, I reckon we should be alright even against the fierce Pokemon you find deep in the wild area. Let's go find out for ourselves. Okay, so I am going to dodge as many Pokemon as I can in the wild area just because they are scary. <laughs> and there's nothing else to it. But I really like how they didn't change the the wild or the the what's it called stadium when we had the the ceremony there way long ago but like because i saw Santa scorch and i was like i wonder if Santa scorch is like some big deal or something but it, it just i mean it just so happened to be the gym leader's ace of, of this town which is really great but at any rate hurry up quill huh he comes trotting down the way again. You're the gym leader, but you still came all the way to see us off? Oh, I bet I can already tell what 
that I'm the one who will become the next champion, yeah? There are many trainers who never manage to gather three gym badges, and they just give up on the gym challenge altogether. So make it a point to see off any trainers who are able to defeat me. You know what? I like Kabu. Oh, whoo, I made it. Thanks, goodness, thanks for, thank goodness for flying taxis. Quill, hop, congratulations. It's really amazing you two defeated Kabu. Not a lot of gym trainers get a gym badge from Kabu. We like to get together to see them off as a way to, of showing our support. Show me to send off. Um, so, allow me to send you off with a proper sporty chant. Oh, dear. Hustle, 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 hop. Ugh, I don't like this. You can do it. You can do it, Quill. I don't like that at all. That was cringy. Gym leaders will face... The gym leaders you face will ahead are all tough opponents. But I believe that you will prevail. Believe in your Pokemon and keep pushing on. Thanks, you all. We're going to keep fighting. We've got to... We've got to if we want to face off against the... In the champion... Cup after all. Oh my goodness, I can't read. Come on, Quill. Let's head for Hammerlock. I will do just that. Oh my goodness. Alright, so I don't know if we're going to get any encounters in between here and Hammerlock, because Hammerlock is just right there uh, on the other side of the, the wild area. But, did we get... Hello, again, wild area, my old friend. I've come back to see you stronger than ever before. Awesome. Quill, Hammerlock is just out of the, just that way. Got it? Actually, I, I was doing some some uh, discovery, in I guess, in that in my other file, and it's it's so big, so big, and it's hard hard to make your way around at first. But like, at some point, I hope to, to to get a good feel for it. And yeah, we could certainly rush straight ahead without a single detour. But now that I have you and I have a few gym badges, we should be able to catch stronger Pokemon. I can't because this is a Nuzlocke hop. Thanks for reminding me. Like what? So I know what I'm doing. I'm going to catch myself an amazing Pokemon to fill the next page of the tale of my legend. Don't waste your efforts. It's not like either of you would ever make it in the gym challenge anyway. Wow. Well, you know. Gym, ch the champion really must have been off as a rocker to endorse the likes of you. I mean, it seems Hop here can't even throw a Pokeball properly. Rubbish. Or like you don't even know how to recognize greatness when you see it. My throws are the greatest and my bro is the first champion the world has ever seen. Finest champion. I'm not going to listen to you insulting him. How tiresome. Fine, I'll battle you over there. Maybe that will finally... Uh, maybe that will help you finally understand how weak you are. You're on, then. I know you challenged Quill to battle and Galar mine number two and lost to him there. And that's my... that, And I'm his greatest rival. In other words, there's no way you're beating me. This prattle about Quill and the champion and whatnot. Do you not have anything of your own to show? <laughs> he just walks away. I really want to... I, I will show this Wally what real skills in battle... I don't know. See you there, Quill. Let's meet up in Hamlock when I'm through with him. Okay. I'm just going to go straight there because I have no reason to bother battling any of these Pokemon in the wild area. They kind of scare me. Uh, goodbye, Garbodor. Please don't attack me. Love, Ryan. <laughs> All right. Let's go... Oh, wait. I'm going to talk to this guy really fast because oftentimes... Oh no, these people often sell really good items like uh, dust balls and, and quick balls and stuff like that. Uh, no, I don't, I don't want what you got. I just want quick balls. You don't have quick balls. I don't want to talk to you. There's a Snorlax. That's really cool. The sock. That's awesome. I'm heading this direction. I'm avoiding everyone I can. Because Lord knows I don't want to lose anyone while I'm on my way to the next town. Alright, so we are on the bridge field, which is awesome. Wait, who is that? Oh, dear. What was that? Yeah, I saw a Pokemon over here. Purple. Oh, it's a Stuffle. Okay, okay, cool. Back on the bike. Back on the bike we go. Lanoon, you're really scaring me. I don't want to battle you. Please go away. Love, Quill. <laughs> I call myself by my first name again. It's all right. Worst things have happened. All right. Let's go this dir I think it's this direction. I mean, I guess it's a little bit of cheating because I know my way a little bit around the wild area, but it's, it's you know. Oh, jeez. And out of nowhere, we just run into a Rhyhorn. This will be a good experience, at least. I mean, it's an easy easy kill. Even if it is overleveled because, you know, that quad weakness to water isn't looking too great right now. Uh, yeah, it is definitely overleveled, but a Water Pulse, we should outspeed and take it out, no problem. Right? 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 Right. I knew it. I knew it. I always knew it. 
Okay, there we are. And actually, I'm going to put John out front because I feel like he needs to catch up. Actually, I know he needs to catch up. He's way below in levels. I wonder... I don't know what type the next gym is, actually. And in fact, I don't even know who the next gym leader is. I heard that the, the, the gym challenge for this one is actually interesting. Uh, apparently, there... It's like... Oh my gosh, there's a Corviknight. Please do not attack me. Um, I'm going this direction. Please don't... No! Uh, Okay, so we've got a Lanoon here. Please don't be... Please do not... Do not be too high level. 28. Okay, we've got this. I'm gonna go for the Bug Bite. Lanoon uses Rest, which is kind of stupid. Uh, we can go for a Bug Bite here. Does a lot of damage. Uh, it's probably gonna go for the Rest again, but that's kind of okay, because then we can just kill with a couple of Bug Bites. Uh, let's see. Take down... Do not... Oh my gosh, that was so close. It was a crit. Of course it was a crit. That was way too close. I don't like that. Please stop. <laughs> Can we get at least a lot of experience off of that? That would be great if you'd do that for me. And not really. Not really what I was looking for, but you know. Vital throw. I will look for that, though. That is really good. Of uh, 70 power. That is better than low sweep for sure. So, that's all. All right. Hey, we just learned a fighting type move, and I'm trying to think of a question of the day. So the question of the day for this episode is going to be, do you know any martial arts? And if you don't, which one would you learn? Um, for me, I don't know. I, I don't know how to fight, period, let alone anything as, as sophisticated as martial arts. Uh, but if I could learn martial arts, I've always been interested in karate. I think that's like the basic, like, Anyone who, who uh, starts to learn martial arts starts learning karate, but I think it's just kind of cool. I also uh, think that, uh, you know, MMA kind of seems interesting, like a, a mixture of a bunch of things. I, I like, I, I kind of have e eclectic tastes, so I feel like MMA being a, a little mix of everything would, be, would fit my personality at least, uh, but I... I am not a fighter at all, so there's no chance that I will ever learn any of those things. But, you know, it's still kind of fun to, to, uh, speculate, I guess. What do you have to say, my friend? You better let me into Hammerlock. Ah, a gym challenger. Allow me to check your gym badges. The grass badge, the water badge, and the fire badge. It's confirmed that you've defeated three gym leaders, including the leader of Motostoke. I wish you the best of luck in your future battles. Why, thank you. No, not Bead. Oh, it's you. I doubt Hop will be coming. It's only natural. After such a humiliating defeat, there's no way he could look up, look the champion in the eye. I'm sure he'll withdraw from the challenge. Jeez, Bead. Here, look at the gym badges. I've already won. Thank you, Challenger Bead. I can confirm you have, a, you have the required badges. Anyway, I have a meeting with the chairman, so I must excuse myself. He just beat Hop. I, I don't like that he beat Hop. I want Hop to beat him. He's... He's, he's the, the, the butthole. I try to censor myself on the channel. Yeah, he's the butthole rival that we've all been wanting for, like, decades. They kind of abandoned it after Crystal, but I don't know. I don't mind the friends. Oh, wow. That's pretty big. Oh, wow. Look at all these places. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I really like this castle theme. Shoot. Like, one of my favorite things about the UK when I went there was, was all of the the castles and everything. They were awesome. I'm really glad to see them recreated here. Uh, there's Oleana and Chairman Rose with Bead. I'm not about to battle them right now, so... In fact, I think... I think I'm gonna go ahead and try once again to... to huh, okay. Well, actually, there is a little side quest that I'm going to try to do right now. If it doesn't work, I will go ahead and cut right back to this spot. Uh, but if it does work, then I'm going to continue afterwards. So if it doesn't work, I'm cutting off right now. All right, I went ahead and tried the thing that I was going to say. It didn't work out. Long story short, uh, it's uh, very obviously meant for it later on in the game. It's not part of the story. And the levels of the Pokemon that I had to face for this particular thing were way higher than I, I even have or was expecting. Uh, 
I know that technically would end my Nuzlocke, but I'm not, I'm not about to uh, go that hard. It wasn't part of the story. It wasn't something I was expecting. So we're just going to not count it. Uh, but Mr. Chairman, I've been collecting both wishing stars and gym badges as fast as I can. Good work, Bead. I'm glad you haven't forgotten what, that this is the chairman who, who endorsed you. It is the chairman who endorsed you. I can't speak. If I gather enough wishing stars, that'll help solve the problem that's been bothering you. Right, Mr. Chairman? That's not... Oh, it's not just about me. It's a, for the future of the whole Galar region. And we need more than just wishing stars. We need powerful Pokemon trainer, too. Someone like the champion. With all due respect, sir, I was able to show Hop, one of the champion endorsed trainers, just how outclassed he was. I'm sure I'll be able to defeat the champion. No, I will defeat the champion. Uh, uh, you won't even defeat us, friend. That's the spirit. It takes a healthy competition who, to really keep the gym challenge energized. Challenger Bead, there is something I wish to discuss with you. Do you have a moment? And away they go. See, that's shady. That's shady. I think I think they're pulling the wool over, over Chairman Rose's eyes, but at any rate. I hope you are listening, Quill. As you know, Wishing Stars are those mysterious stones that have attached to your Dynamax bands. There's more to Wishing Stars than just making Pokemon into Giants, though. They hold far more energy than that. If you're curious, you should head curious, you should head to the stadium. In fact, we should head inside right away. I'll give you a little lesson on how the Galar region gets its energy. Actually, that'd be kind of cool. <laughs> Not gonna lie. I don't think we're gonna take on the gym challenge quite yet, are we? That seems really, really soon. I mean, sure, why not? But, like, Dragon, this is, this is, this is the last gym. This is not where we're going right now. Hammerlock Stadium doubles as an energy plant. Now, I have, now have a look at my tablet. I got all the information you need on it. Okay. See, an easy to understand description of the energy plant. First, energy is absorbed into Hammerlock Stadium Tower. Then it is changed into electricity in the underground power plant and delivered to people throughout the region. Okay. Nice. Like, <laughs> pretty basic, but okay. Our lives in society require various types of energy sources, such as electricity, natural gas, and water. My associate groups aim to improve everyone's lives by harnessing this power stored in wishing stars. Oh, it's time for me to get to work. I should have a move on before Oleana decides to give me another earful. <laughs> Quill, I uh, suggest you head over to the vault next. Just head toward Route 6 from the stadium and you should find the vault without any issues. Okay, the vault sounds interesting. I'm going to go check that on out. Oh, there's a the Pokeball dude. So this is definitely not the gym that we challenge next. I don't know what is, but this is the this is the dragon type one and we definitely don't encounter that gym until the, the, uh, the end of the game. I know that the dragon... Uh, the dragon gym leader is the last one because they told me at the beginning of the game. Uh, but we can just continue on this way. I'm gonna go ahead and hop on my bike, actually. I think this is the right way to go. Maybe, 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 maybe. Nope, nope, it's not. That's Team Yell. Okay, maybe it's this direction. Okay, well, hey, we got an item out of it. Why is glasses? Interesting. I love riding the bike in this... Strawberry sweet. Oh my gosh, that's what I was looking for. Okay, good, 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 good. I'm gonna go ahead and get off of my bike. I know what this this item is, and I want to show you guys really fast. This was this is what I was trying to do at um when I had to restart the oh uh, what's it called? I had to, I had to restart the episode because I tried to do this and then I came back and I was like, hey guys, this didn't work out. Uh, but I'm trying to evolve. Amelia, and the way you do that is you get a sweet... I'm actually going to go down where you can see a little bit better. I'm going to evolve her in the gym. That would be cool, would it not? I think it would. But at any rate, we are going to go into Hammerlock. I love this castle. Look at it. Wow. All right, so we've got our, our little Al Creamy holding the strawberry sweet. And now it, to get whipped cream which is what Al Creamy is based on, you have to stir uh, cream, which is what Milkery is. So, just like that, we are going to go ahead and spin around in circles until we strike a pose. And then... And then we're gonna... Oh my gosh! Amelia's evolving! That's so crazy. What? Amelia's evolving? My gosh. 
That's so awesome. Oh, look, we got we got the the classic uh, Al Creamy. It's got like so, it's got something like 63 different forms, different flavors, I guess. But we got the classic one, which is great. Uh, we want to learn decorate. Uh, I don't think that this is a good move for for in game. It's a better move for double battles competitively. Sharply raises the target's attack and special attack. Yeah, no, no, no. We're gonna for we're not going to learn that. Pardon me right now. Because it's best in double battles and those are not very uh, prominent within the game. I wonder where which direction Route 6 is supposed to be. Is it this way? Okay, it is this way because there's Leon. Quill, seems like you're doing well collecting the gym badges. But Hop, did something happen with him? He's actually really odd when I... He acting, was acting really odd when I ran into him. He took one look at me and was immediately like, I'm sorry, Lee. It must be the first time I've heard him apologize for anything, and I have no idea what it was for. Maybe he's feeling down because he's had some hard losses in battle? I'm just gonna say I think so. I'm not gonna, like, air his dirty laundry for him. At least I've got you to keep an eye on him. We look out for Hop, will you, as his rival? Blast. It took- look at the time. Nearly forgot my meeting with the chairman, and Oleana really uh, lets me hear it when I'm late. Now, if only I could remember which way to go. <laughs> Me, I am terrible with directions. Anyway, I'd say you could, should go and say hello to the to the to Ray, Ryan Ryan while you're here, Quill. <laughs> That's my name, except it's spelled different. He's the greatest rival I've got, and the final hurdle you'll have to face in the gym chat. So I was right; it is the final gym. He should be around the vault if you hurry. It's down that way on the way to Route Six. Okay, down this way, or like. Oh, I'm definitely going to come back and, and buy some more clothes. <laughs> what was it? Like, when Generation 6 first came out and character customization was, was like, big. Uh, are you serious? Okay, so it must be this direction. I don't know. Uh, but there's a meme that came out that said, usually when you, in a Pokemon game, when you enter a new city, the big question is, where's the, the gym? But now... That there's character customization. It's okay, but where's the boutique? I want to buy clothes, and that's 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 pretty much the truth. Uh, do we need to heal? I don't know. Do we need to heal? I don't know. I feel like every time I see a Pokemon Center, I just like compulsively stop. No, we do not. It's also really interesting how they have multiple Pokemon Centers in in the in one uh, city. They didn't used to do that. Oh, here he is. I need a couple of the boys for them. Oh, if it isn't the trainer endorsed by the champion. Well, let's see. What's your name again? <laughs> oh, right. Quill. And if Leon finds himself recognize, or if Leon himself recognizes your potential, then I guess you'll grow into quite the trainer. All the time, though, anyone wanting to challenge the mighty Ryan has to prove they're up to, up to it by earning seven badges first. I already knew that. Ah, uh, so you're here to see the treasures, are you? Gaining a better understanding of Pokemon by studying history certainly isn't a bad idea. Like, I like your spirit. Follow me, why don't you? I don't know why I've made him like a surfer dude. I think it's because he's on his phone all the time and wears, a, wears like a sweatshirt and shorts. I don't know why. It just kind of looks silly to me. I'll even spare you one of my league cards. Thanks, man. And he just he stands like all nonchalant, you know? He, he looks like he has that voice. Now, now, on you go. If that's the vault you want, it's up those stairs there. I mean, do I really want to see the vault? I kind of don't care. It's not that I don't care. It's that I, I really don't care. I just want to catch another Pokemon, to be honest with you. I wonder if there are Pokemon in the vault. If there are Pokemon in the vault, then I'm very interested. Uh, there's a TM over here, though. What is it for? Probably a dragon move? No, it's just charm. Okay. Charm. Okay, this direction, up the stairs we go. And we're gonna go right into the vault. Whatever that means. Oh, okay. Now I'm more interested because, you know, plot. Oh, oh, you're here. Brilliant, aren't they? It's the great, it's great that there are still treasured tapestries that tell us of Galar's history. The two youths watching a wishing star. A disaster occurs. The two bewildered youths. Oh, wow, look. 
The you is looking at the sword and shield at the stop to stop the disaster. The you is being crowned. Oh look. Oh, that's so cool. I love the lore. I hope it's I hope that they do more with it than that, but these tapestries tell the story of the po of the creation of the kingdom in Galar. I'm gonna take a picture of that. I'm sorry. Oh no, I'm not yet. When once once Sony gets out of here, but anyway. Say, young Jim Challenger, what sticks out to you most about them? Uh, there's two heroes. That is, that is, bang on. The statue at the hotel in the Motostoke only had one hero. No matter how you slice it, but here we clearly have two youths. Was there really only one hero, or were there two? And what even caused the darkest day? Okay, that's interesting. I'm, I'm actually kind of curious about that. Thanks for letting me bounce some ideas off of you. I think I've got some theories now. I'm going to research the tapestries a tad more, but you have your gym challenge, right? I'm cheering for you, so take a couple of these. I hope they make for your wins or something. I don't know. We can't use revives. Why does everyone keep shoving revives at me? I can't use them. <sighs> like, I mean, I guess it's free money or whatever, but, like, I'm going to catch a Pokemon before we end off the episode, I think. Um, but I'm not going to waste my time. Ah. Uh, nope, that's the wrong button. Come on. Wow, I'm, I can, I can control my game, I promise. <laughs> oh, we haven't been there yet. Okay, well, we're just gonna... We can't fly there. Why can't I fly there? I've been there. Maybe I can't fly off of the... Off of the top of the castle. I don't know. Fine, I'll be not lazy about it. Oh, well, they wanted us to talk to Ryan. That's why. Uh, the tapestries in the vault depict the heroes of the Galar region's past. I suppose if we've got any modern hero, it'd have to be, like, Champion Leon. Listen up, Quill. Our goal is to defeat that superstar Leon. You go on to conquer Route 6 and train yourself up along the stow on side. Okay, I will. I, I will. <laughs> like, why not? Hello, goodbye. Let's see, Route 6. We are going to catch a Pokemon there, my friends. What will it be? I don't know. I hope it's something good. Not that I'm trying to replace anyone on the team, but I kind of am trying to replace a couple of people on the team. Okay. So there's a little sneaky dude. Oh, he looks sad. What a cute silly cobra. Just look at those adorable eyes. Oh, our duty as Team Yellow is to make Sir Silly Cobra have a nice, peaceful sleep. Those are their voices from now on. I'm sorry, that's just it. Hello there, I will, if I... Promise not to wake the Pokemon, will you let me through? Of course, it'd be our pleasure. Okay. Good. Oh, it's not sad, it's just sleeping. That's weird. That's really weird. <laughs> oh, hey Quill. You're heading to Stow on side, right? Oi. Team Yell, don't suppose you're, you'll you let us through? No, you kids are way too loud. Can't be letting you through. And we're practically not, we're particularly not fond of kids wearing the challenge band. What's your stomping around? Silly Crobo is sure to wake up. Right. Oh, sorry. Right. What do you say, Quill? If we can't get past them, we'll, we won't be able to, to do our gym challenge at the snow on side. I'll battle them. You... Yeah, that's a spirit. You're, you're way too noisy. You don't want to wake up Silly Crobo now, do you? Silly Cobra, whatever. I, sw I swear, kids these days. Well, we've got no choice. We have to send you back, and it's all for the sake of Silly Cobra. That's this is odd and uncomfortable. I don't know why they're they're so enthralled with this Silly Cobra. All right, so out comes a Stunky on his side. Nothing too terrifying. Uh, the sunlight is harsh. Oh, that's perfect. So we can just go for a Flame Wheel. It's going to do a whole bunch of damage. Uh, he goes for the Faint, which isn't going to do hardly anything. That's a really weak move. But the Flame Wheel, because of the ah. Uh, Strong sunlight is going to do a whole bunch of damage. Bite. That one's scary now. Don't don't do too much. Okay, that, that wasn't that wasn't so bad. I thought it was gonna do a lot more. Uh down goes the stunky though. With a critical hit. Why couldn't we have gotten the crit last time? Aftermath is really scary. Wow, that did a lot more than I wanted it to. <laughs> uh, scales might level up here to level 30. No, just just uh Okay, Lanoon, we're not we're not staying there on this thing. I mean, we are under leveled. We might have to, to grind up in between episodes. Honestly, I didn't expect, or I did not expect to, or want to do any grinding in this, but I might have to. Here. All right, we got Moldbreaker, Honeclaws. 
that's not so scary because you're only gonna use like headbutt or something. Uh, if we go here for the vital throw, we should be good, right? Like, you're gonna go for more. Oh, you got greedy, my friend. That is gonna be your downfall. All right, off goes the vital throw. Oh no! Oh no! Come on! That wasn't even fair. All right, can we not have another battle immediately after this? That would be that would be awesome. I would. Scales wants to learn U-turn. Absolutely, you can learn U-turn. What? Uh, we're gonna go and forget. Sw well, no, we're gonna forget bind for that. U-turn's great on uh, a playthrough like this one because I have set battle style, which means I can't switch out in between in between Pokemon that the opponent's gonna send out. But now with U-turn, I might be able to, which is which is awesome. But uh, I think I'll leave this to you, Quill. Keep up the pace. Oh come on, why don't you battle? No, please, please just battle me. Oh, I don't want to fight this Lightbird. Not with John, at least. John is, like, not feeling the greatest right now. I'm going to go ahead and switch out uh, into Edward, because that's my best option. Against this Lightbird, Lightbird's kind of scared. Lightbird doesn't have too great of, uh... Uh, ba 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 What's the word I'm looking for? I can think of it, but I can't think of it. It's, uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean, right? Offensive. Offensive capabilities. It's not very good offensively. Uh, but it does use the sand attack. That's not going to matter too much, though, because a vital throw can't miss. My only hope is that it knocks out, which it does. Awesome. And then we win. I'm going to catch a Pokemon really fast, and that's actually going to be the episode. Um, time flies when you're having fun, I guess. But jeez, this 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 is going really fast. <laughs> I really do love this game, though. Oh, why'd you have to be such a bother? I don't know. It's just kind of in my nature, I guess. Silly Kobo might wake up after all that ruckus. Then there's no point in us sticking around. Let's get out of here. We'll make these bothersome kids holler some other day. Some other day. There you are. Hop, can you heal me? That'd be great. Cool, you and Sizzlepeed were brilliant together. Alright. Well, Bead really wiped the floor with me last time we battled. And don't get me wrong, I can take a loss. Battling means you've got something to lose sometimes. But... But he said I was dragging these good name through the mud. So being rubbish like I was. And I can't get those words out of my head. Oh, Hop. If I'm weak, then people... People will think Lee's weak too. But, I've had, but I don't want that. I can't get Lee dragged down. He's the unbeatable champion. I'm not. I'm gonna have to take some time figuring this out. See you around, Quill. Ugh. Oh my gosh. Oh, there's his little silly cobra. Hi, friend. What do you think? You don't think much. You just kind of wander away. Good morning, and goodbye. <laughs> All right. You're one of the gym challenges endorsed by Leon, aren't you? Endorsed by Leon, aren't you? Oh my goodness. Ooh, Opal. I don't like her. My name's Opal. If you want to know more, have a look at my league card. Oh, she's kind of she's kind of scary looking. I'll keep an eye on you, child. I want to see what you can do when you go all out. Ugh, I don't like that. <laughs> and then she just hobbles away. Why not? All right, we are gonna go this direction. Do we have time? Eh, we really don't have time. But I'm gonna I'm gonna make time catch a Pokemon. Oh, no. Oh, geez. Let's let's just put Raven out front and take out whatever this trainer wants to throw at us because I don't want to stand around here forever. There's an Axew. Oh, my goodness. There's Axew in the grass here. I love Axew. Actually, I got Wonder traded. Or not Wonder. Surprise traded an Axew. So that's really great. Raven. Okay. We can, we can do this. Uh, we're gonna go for the pluck here. Level 29. Yeah, we definitely need to do some grinding. I did not expect to have to do this, but we're gonna do some grinding in between episodes. I'm sorry if that's if that's not what you were expecting. Well, it definitely was not what I was expecting. Okay, you're gonna use Spore. That's really annoying. Uh, I think I'm gonna switch out here, actually. Samuel, I really, really hope that you can stand up to this, this Clefairy, of all things. I bet you can, but, you know, in the back of my head, it's like, can he really? Metronome. 
use, like, I don't know, Baton Pass. That was not what I was looking for. Actually, don't use Baton Pass, please. Uh. Out comes a Clefable. That's really terrifying. Uh, we are just going to go for the Acid and hope for the best. Metronome. Why do they keep going for Metronome? Don't use anything scary. Sludge. Oh, that's nothing. That's not going to do any- Oh my gosh, that did much more than I expected it to. Out goes the Acid. That doesn't do nearly enough. What do we have? Oh my gosh. Um, I think we just kind of have to stay in here and continue to go for acids. Honestly, really, the more you use metronome, the more skip that I get. Gear up, but it failed. Okay, that's fine. Acid. Only two more. Only two more. Oh, maybe even one more. Special defense fell. Metronome, stop it. Stop going for the metronome. Please roll out. Oh, no. No rollouts. No, please stop. I think we can live another one. Oh, we don't have to. We don't have to. That's great. Critical hit. Way to go. Honestly. Yes, Samuel. That was great. Edward level 29 now. That's, that's a good thing. I'm going to go in my bag really fast. I'm healed just because I'm afraid of what this thing's going to do. Uh, super potion should be fine. Alright, there we are. An extra Samuel is going to be evolving soon. Metronome, please don't do anything scary. Like, just just don't. Hyper voice. Uh, okay, that's kind of scary, but not too bad, I don't think. Okay. Can we just go for an acid and do a bunch of damage? That would be great. Can you just knock it out? That would be even better. Not quite. Okay. Oh my gosh, Clefairy, waste your turn. Please, please waste your turn. Thunder Wave. That's exactly what you needed to do. Here we go. Acid ends the battle. I was kind of scared there. We are going to do some grinding in between episodes. I'm sorry. Like, that's kind of scary. I don't know what level we're going to get up to, but definitely higher than what we are right now. Uh, Raven's level 30, though, which is nice. John's level 28. And we beat Beauty Anita. Awesome. Okay. Well, we're going to get a, a, a encounter really, very quickly. Oh, wow! Oh, man, our Sizzlipede's evolving. Okay, John. You just joined the team and you're already evolving. I'm so proud. Wow. A Scorch. Love Scorch. Wow, look at it. When it heats up, its body temperature reaches about 1500 degrees Fahrenheit. It lashes its body like a whip and launches it at enemies. That's really cool. Alright, like I said, encounter very quickly. Please. Oh my gosh. What is it going to be? It's going to be... Oh, Durant. Okay. I like Durant. Raven is asleep, and that's not great. Um, I think I'm just... No, I can't. I can't. Oh dear. Um, is Scales the one? I think Scales is the one to go and, and battle this guy. I can at least go for the Water Pulse, I think. You shouldn't be able to do too much. Dig? That's not fun. Okay. I'm going to switch right back out because I can very easily just dodge. <laughs> Durant's kind of scary though, not going to lie. That's actually very scary. Uh, but here we can just go for the pluck, I suppose. Agility. Okay, you can keep going for agility. I don't care if you speed up. You're already faster than me. Like, go ahead. We're asleep. We are asleep, and I'm annoyed. Come on. Pluck. Bug bite isn't going to do much. Good. Uh, Raven woke up. Goes for the pluck. Should be neutral. Should do a, a good amount of damage, at least. Okay, good. Pluck once more. Here comes the bite. Okay. Does more than I'd like it to, but still nothing too insane. I'm gonna go ahead and heal really fast. Go off. Fire off one more pluck after that. Raven, come on. You got this. You got this, Raven. My goodness. Bite. Come on. I want to catch this Duran already. Pluck. 
should do a good amount again. Bite, please don't flinch me or do anything fun. Awesome. One more pluck goes off. I'm going to heal up for good measure, and then we're going to start throwing balls. All right, come on. All right, healing up, healing up, healing up. Bite. All right, now, now, Durant, what I need you to do is not break out of this netball. I need you to stay in it. That would be awesome, and I would love you forever for it. One, two, three. Okay, we got it. Okay, good. Oh my gosh, that was kind of scary. Durant's really strong too, so I'm like, I'm a little bit, little bit <laughs> psyched out, I guess, for lack of a better term. All right, I would love to give Durant a nickname, and I'll be right back after I give it to her. Actually, a friend I know in real life, her name is Ava Durant, so I just went ahead and named it after her. Very quick, uh, we're going to send her to the box, and then that is going to be the episode, so... Make sure to comment down below, let me know if you don't know any martial arts. If you do know martial arts, let me know which kind you know. And if you don't, let me know which kind you want to know. Uh, thanks so much for watching the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. And uh, that'll do it for this video, my friends, so thanks so much for watching, and as always, see you next time.